straight out of the gate, I'm gonna tell you that this is an extremely moist and beautifully firm chocolate brownie recipe. So if you're more from that cakey camp, I'm hoping this recipe is gonna convert you. So first up, we've got 200 grams of 70% dark chocolate nibs going into our bowl. Now, these were kindly sent to me by Olive Nation to play around with. Now, in addition to this chocolate, they've got some great products on their website and they've kindly offered you guys a 20% discount off their products. I'll leave the details in the description box. Now to that, I'm gonna add 50 grams of dark cocoa powder and 150 grams of cold diced butter. I've just kept back one small cube and we'll get onto that in a shake. Now in my pan, I've got a small amount of water simmering away. It's about two centimeters in depth. We're gonna place our bowl over the top and simmer it very gently just to melt that chocolate and butter. So now we can prepare the tray for the brownies. Now my tray measures 16 by 25 centimeters. That's roughly six by 10 in inches. Now rather than cut my paper, I just rip a piece off that's bigger than the tray and then I fold it to size. It just makes it easier to adjust if I need to. But I'm gonna need two pieces that cover the base and the sides completely. Now we use that little cube of butter that I put to one side. We're gonna grease the tray and the bottom piece of paper, and that's gonna keep all of the paper from sliding around. It's gonna make it a lot easier when we come to pour in the brownie mixture. Pop the tray to one side, and don't forget to keep gently stirring your chocolate mix. Now, in our bowl, we've got 200 grams of white sugar and 100 grams of brown sugar. I'm gonna be using an electric whisk for this stage. You could go manual, but just make sure you incorporate as much air as you possibly can. Don't forget to keep an eye on the chocolate mix. The aim is to gently melt it, not to overheat it. Now we're gonna add three eggs, one at a time, to our bowl while we're whisking. And while I do that, I'm gonna run you through the bake settings for this recipe. This is gonna bake in the center of an oven that's been preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, or 355 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. Now my oven's been set to bake mode with no fan. Now because this is a moist chocolate brownie, the skewer trick isn't gonna work. So it's gonna take a bit of practice to see when this is cooked. But basically, as the brownie cooks, it's gonna to start to rise slightly from the edges towards the middle. And once that middle peaks, it's gonna be done. This is gonna take 40 minutes maximum, no longer. Right, so now I can follow up with a really good pinch of salt and a splash of vanilla extract. And this is the consistency that you should be shooting for. Now we're ready to add the chocolate mix. And as you can see, it's nice and shiny, but it's not hot, it's just warm. Dry the bottom of your bowl to stop any water drips getting into the mix. Add a touch of the chocolate to the bowl while whisking and then drizzle in the remaining. Give the bowl a really good scrape down with a spatula and make sure everything is well mixed. Now, last but not least, we're gonna add 80 grams of all-purpose flour. We're gonna sift the flour in and then we're gonna use a spatula to incorporate it with the rest of the ingredients. Now, don't knock all of that air out that we've worked hard to get into the mix, but you need to make sure that you can't see any more flour trails. Now we can pour it into our prepared pan and we are good to bake. That's it from me today, guys. A huge thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Stay tuned. still